Uh, I've learned something over the years working with senior executives and so on, and that is your problem's not your problem, there's another problem. So whatever, whatever it is that you think your problem is, that's not it, there's another one. I'll give you an example. I was working with uh, Eli Lilly not long ago, big drug company, and they said, we got a problem. Now already, I had a huge advantage because I knew that wasn't it. And I haven't even heard it yet. But I already knew that wasn't it. Why? They're smart. They would have figured it out by now. That's not it. They said, our problem is that we have to uh, hire at least 2,000 additional PhD researchers to solve the molecular problems that we need to solve so that we can have more drugs in the pipeline so that our stock price goes up. Because our stock price goes up when there's more drugs in the pipeline. The problem is we don't have the money to hire 2,000 additional PhD researchers to solve those molecular problems. So I invoked a principle that I've been using for years, and I love it. Let me share it with you. It's, well, take your problem and skip it. Because by skipping your problem, you can actually find out what the real one was. I said, let's skip that one. Why don't we take those molecular problems and post them on the internet in at least a dozen languages, and why don't we just say we pay for solutions? They did that about three years ago. Now they've got thousands and thousands and thousands of PhD researchers submitting solutions to their molecular problems, and all they're really doing is paying for the solutions they want to buy. Was the problem they needed to hire 2,000 PhD researchers? No, the problem is they have molecular problems to solve, and there's other ways of solving it. So I want us to look beyond the problem, and I'm not talking about the people that you're helping. Frankly, I think you've got that methodology down pretty well. I, you're an expert in that. I'm talking about solving your own issues, your own problems, as you look at your career and where it's going, as you look at where this profession is going. Because it's going at a different rate than it's ever gone before. Something's happened, something's changed. And it's not just the economy. Something's going on right now. I want to talk about that.